parish I've told out is fantastic. But to me, this week, it's all about the Haftarah. I love the three short chapters in Malachi, the final prophet. And the comments this week are going to be based on the Haftarah. Living a Jewish life is complicated. We know there are several obligations that we have to follow out, both in our relationship with Hashem and our relationship with people. So Judaism really boils down to relationships. And relationships hinge often on the authenticity of the experience. So how authentic are we in our relationship? And it's a word we don't often use. We try and fall into line with accepted social practice and we choose our social groups, often depending on how comfortable we feel with such behavior. We know that people, psychologists explain that people will tend to act differently in groups, believing that the power of the group will protect them against criticism. And it's okay to do things if everybody else is doing it. And it's okay to ignore the cries of a stranger asking for help if nobody else is coming. The bystander effect often works. It's so powerful because nobody gets involved and it takes someone to deviate from that norm in order to offer help. In the Haftarah, Malachi opens up with... No, Criticism of the Jewish people, that was standard practice for the prophets of the Nach. And he says, I have to get He says to the Jewish people, God loves you. The relationship is one of love. It's powerful. It's strong. And the Jewish people said, how? And he reminds them there were, there were two brothers. There was Yaakov and there was Esau. And Hashem loved Yaakov. And that's despite the fact that there was exile and there were punishments. The love, the relationship is strong. But what is the nature of that relationship? And Hashem asks Another rhetorical question that I don't understand. This relationship can either be like a parent to a child based on love or a master to a servant, so it's based on fear. And if it's based on fear, then where's the respect that you should be giving me? And if it's based on love, where is the love? And he throws out a real difficult challenge for them. He says, V'chi tagishun ivel izboach ein ra. V'chi tagishu piserch v'chole ein ra. If you would have the audacity, the temerity, to bring a sacrifice. Give a gift to the general, to the governor of your particular area. And that animal was, was disabled, was broken. Wasn't the best possible animal you could give. Do you really think the governor's not going to get angry? They won't explode in rage at the chutzpah, the, the lack of respect. And Hashem says the same thing. How can you do that to me? You offer things that aren't appropriate. Then he says the shocking words. Better to shut the doors of the Bet HaMikdash than to allow for a relationship to develop that isn't authentic. That isn't a true expression of what should be between both sides in the relationship. So whilst we struggle to get in line to conform, whilst we look for communities that best ident- that express the values that we identify with, that are important to us, And it really is important to find a community that really expresses the most authentic version of yourself. Why suffer in silence? Why hide in a community that doesn't make sense to you? Why bite your lip when you can find a place that makes sense to you? That can respect Medinat Yisrael, love Medinat Yisrael. That can look at the world and say, I can take the very best of secular wisdom and knowledge and secular experiences to enhance my Jewish experience, all predicated on Torah, all predicated on a love for the Jewish people. Our ancestors struggled time and time again with being their true to their inner selves. Let's remind ourselves this week. Hashem tells us, I loved you. The relation, I love you. The relationship is great. Now it's up to us to make sure that we are there fully, truly as a people Hashem wants us to be. Shabbat Shalom.